All right, we're just on site. We're going to go over all the steel work uh, that needs to go into your foundation or your footings and your slab. And um, we're just going to have a look at it and just show you what we've done. And um, hopefully you'll have a better understanding of uh, the steel work that goes in the slabs. We've had the engineer come out and have a look at this. Uh, so it's all been given the go ahead. So I'll show you what you've done and um, just run through the different items. First thing that we've got here is uh, this is our termite barrier here. This is smart film from Termimesh. Uh, basically there was two options with this slab. Uh, either a full spray over all the ground or a physical barrier such as this barrier here by Termimesh. I've gone for the physical barrier. That way we've got no chemicals being sprayed on the uh, property. All right. This is a ligature. Try and get a good view of it. That's an M8. There's an M6 or an M8. That basically means it's 8mm. You can see that it's tied off. It's, this one's got a rebate in it for a rebate for our bricks. Um, and you can see that we've got, as per our engineering detail, our bars at all the points listed. So this had two top and three bottom tied off with ties. Uh, that's a, a 16 N16 bar and you can see that it's running all the way across. On the top section here, we've got our slab mesh. Uh, what you'll notice about this is so we've ran, you know, the horizontal bit here goes parallel with that beam on top and gets tied to it. So that you don't just have these bits coming across, you actually run that next to that. Got our chairs all evenly spaced. Just lifting that slab, making sure that we keep 40 mil of cover from all our metal work. If you don't have 40 mil of cover, uh, it is possible that, um, you know, especially if you're in salty places, that the steel could rust. The other thing that we want to make sure is that our steel work is off the ground where our trenches are. And you can see it is. The other thing that has to happen, this is, again is all pipe penetrations. That's our termite barrier, and they're also lagged with the uh, foam and taped all around the pipe. One of the other details that we have from the engineer was a ligature uh, at wherever there's a T-junction. So basically we've got a ligature. This has got no rebate in it, so it's just all square with a ligature close to this join. Again, another ligature, all tied off. We made these frames externally, placed them in the in the trenches. Uh, we've also got the plastic as well, which has to go down first. Any penetrations in that plastic need to be taped up. Something else on the uh, ligatures, they are custom made. Uh, so basically, this is a 300 mil trench. So inside a 300 mil trench goes a 200 mil ligature, gives us 50 mil cover each side and 40 mil cover top and bottom or it's literally 100 mil less than um, whatever the depth of our trench is it's 100 mil less so this is uh, 400 by 200 so that gives us a uh, 300 by 200 ligature uh, basically you just ring up the Yankos and um, they custom make every ligature for you and um, you can even see we've had, a, had to order in a few more and that one's slightly different from this one Just show you here, we've got a uh, corner bar. It's running top and bottom, going 500 mil back. Just looking here on our sheet laps. So as you can see, there's this little 100 mil section. So we've run that lapping over the whole way down, tied off. And then also when the sheets, they cross over like a full square each. You can see that there. And joins taped together. One of the other things that has to happen on this slab is uh, it needs to be cured. Um, uh, basically the easiest way for us to do this is we're going to get it sprayed with a chemical. Uh, I've rang up Termimesh, the same people that did the, um, 
the physical barrier there, they'll seal the slab for us. So rather than running plastic out and spraying it with water, keeping it covered for seven days, we're just going to spray it with this chemical uh, after the slab's been poured tomorrow. And um, yeah, that'll be our slab cured. It saves us running plastic out and hosing it down with water and stuff.